What is going on everybody? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today guys, we're going to be giving updates regarding the entire cryptocurrency market. And of course, the SEC coming back yet again with some bearish news. Now remember as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor, but rather I always try to put you guys on the plays that I'm in. And if you are new around here, consider smashing the like button down below and subscribing to the channel. Now, we're gonna give some quick updates regarding the market, but the things I wanna to highlight today specifically are some big things that happened to Pepe 2.0 over the last 24 hours. I am still extremely bullish on the project, but again, the market is down. We were on a steady rise, and of course, when things are looking oh so great, we get some bad news. Justin from WatcherGuru, about a couple hours ago here, the SEC says spot Bitcoin ETF filings are inadequate, meaning the ones that have been proposed by BlackRock, Fidelity, Valkyrie, all the different institutional funds and hedge funds out there are pretty much being rejected. With that being said, inadequate could be one line. It could be one paragraph. It could be multiple pages in their initial filings that they sent out. With that being said, I think again, we continue to push as we hope for more exposure in terms of the entire cryptocurrency market with Bitcoin, of course, being the leader of all. BTC at $30,000, regressing now, right when it was getting ready to break 31.5, things were looking bullish. Ethereum was at 1900, now back to 1848. Things are looking okay overall. And of course, we always like to look at the mother of the memes, Shiba Inu, down about 6.9% on the week and about up, still a little tick at 0.3%. But we could see pretty much the, fa the flash crash that happened to BTC and everything else followed. We were holding nicely above 31K, the bad news came in, broke below 30, and now holding right around 30,000. I think right now Bitcoin has found a comfortable, comfortable consolidation point for itself. But let's go ahead and dive in and talk about what seems to be taking the crypto market by storm. That is Pepe 2.0. Now, it said here about 30 minutes ago, they said a lot of meetings today. Exciting news to, uh, to come very soon for Pepe 2. If you missed Pepe, you now have yet another chance. Of course, with any meme coins, remember, they come with a lot of risk, but there's also the potential for a lot of reward. They can go up 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40x from my initial tweet at a $3 million market cap. Now it's at a round $30 million market cap. But the thing that's interesting is not even market cap or everything else that's happening. This token is less than a full three days old. If we go over to the price action, we could see that this token launched on the evening of June 27th, right around 5.40 p.m. It ran up to a $50 million market cap. Then retraced yesterday after some FUD, I would say more coordinated FUD. The team came out, expelled the FUD. We saw a really nice run up, people taking profits as there's just again, some more fear today with fear in the market. Overall, I think again, things are looking pretty good in terms of price action and volume for this project. $31 million exchange in the hands of traders on chain meaning directly on uniswap and if you look at the holder count this is the most incredible metric that i think i've seen ever in crypto over a three-day period for a token after its launch 9865 total holders in the project let that sink in for a little bit and i put that put out this tweet yesterday and i thought again it was a really really well balanced and sensible tweet tomorrow from yesterday meaning today Pepe 2.0 will break 10,000 holders in less than 72 hours from its launch. I still hold by that. I do think we can hit that metric based off the volume and the numbers that we're seeing. Comprehend that, sit on it, and reflect. Pepe 2.0, congratulations to the community on its parabolic growth. See you all in the morning. Looking forward to 100,000. We have not seen these numbers, even with the original Pepe, the OG of OGs, the one that hit over a billion dollar market cap. We have not seen these types of numbers, not this type of volume, and not these types of metrics at all. So with that being said, remember, assess your risk appetite and identify plays you can get into that might be a little bit more speculative that might give you and yield you higher returns. Not a financial advisor by any means. You got to make those decisions for yourself. But again, you're the player. I love the saying that Henock uses when we're on our spaces on Twitter. You are the player. You have to make the decisions on the field. Again, we are just commentators sharing with you opportunities in the market. So with that being said, Pepe 2.0 right now sitting at a $25 million market cap, pretty much retracing where it was beginning of morning yesterday after it ran up a 2x from where it is right now at a $50 million valuation. I think the, the story continues. I think 
the building continues. And I believe now what we're seeing in the global cryptocurrency market with money leaving BTC and ETH, I think meme coins have a stronger position and they have the ability to actually get a lot more capital and liquidity that's now going to be leaving the big dogs, the blue chips, the ones that have been uh, people who have been looking at, especially with BTC and ETH, as of course we were anticipating those ETFs to go live, but now there's a little bit of a delay. We'll see what happens, but I'm still super duper excited. Again, appreciate you guys' support as always. That's all I had for you. So make sure again, you smash the like button on your way out. If you found the information informative, comment down below and let me know. What are your thoughts about the entire crypto market? Do you see some manipulation from the SEC or this, um, from the SEC? Or is, just, is this just yet another day in crypto and things are going to go back to being parabolic as they were even just this morning? Appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, everybody, as always, keep investing. Peace.